Hi, everybody. Um, what I want you to do is to go to your APHG folder. You should have bookmarked your maps from yesterday. Your the map that you made that's called places I should know about. So in your my maps, click that map, and you're going to add on to your chapter one. So make sure the blue line is on chapter one because everything should go into the basics of geography. And you're going to zoom out. And first thing that I'm asking you to do is the three types of regions in the U.S. Now, for some of these, like for the opioid crisis, for the trans, you're going to pick any transnational corporation. Um, and Netherlands, you're going to put a dot on that, a dot on China. All these can be bulleted except the three types of regions. So I do want you to practice drawing lines now on this map. And you are going to zoom out. And you're going to look at all of the indigenous uh, people of um, Alaska. So we're going to actually draw pictures. Whoa, I went way out, but that's good. You want to go to actually to get there really fast. I mean, this is sort of the slow way. You could just type in Alaska at the top, but you want notice how, how big Alaska is. It is, it does, it is distorted remember because it's up at the poles. Um, but you want to, sorry, I meant to zoom in until it takes up your whole page. And here's why you're going to basically look at page 16 and you're going to do your best to draw some formal regions around these tribes. Basically, a formal region is when you can draw a circle around a cluster of something, any phenomena. Phenomena is a great word in um, this course. The phenomena we're looking at here are indigenous tribes. So I don't want to plot that because that's not going to be as accurate as it would be to draw. Now, when you're drawing, watch carefully what I do. You really want to just have, you want to touch, I'm clicking, draw down. Let's see, I can, you don't want it to be exact. Uh, that is going to take you forever. And the problem is if you mess up, you have to start all over. So I'm really right now just going to draw a line around the, this is the Inupiaq, the Inupiaq people. And let's see, it kind of goes up there, then it goes like up there. And then it goes really all along really north. Okay, whoa, stop. I'm just going to do that. Okay, we don't have to keep going. But notice I'm, now I need my two fingers to go that way. <laughs> I think I may have just shown you how easy it is to mess this up. Okay, zoom out with two fingers. Oh, good. I just kept going. And then when you touch the la the first dot, notice what happens. It turns it into a shape. Okay, and it's going to want you to label it. So I would label this in new piece. Oops, it's not typing. Come on. In Nupiak. And maybe just indigenous people of Alaska. And I need to remember that this is a formal region. Because I can draw a circle around it, right? It's a formal region. In Nupiak tribe. Um and I want to save it, and I can change the color. Maybe I'll make this one pink. Don't worry about pictures. You want to just get, get through this. And notice if I want to edit it, I can move. If I really want to be more perfect, I can move my circles, you know, in and out a little bit. Um, but again, that really doesn't matter. What you're going to find mostly is if you're putting too many circles in, you're going to mess up. And then you just have to delete the whole line and just start again. And honestly, I care more that you can do it and basically get where the people should be. I do not care if it's not super accurate. What I care about is that you learned that this is a formal region. Okay, so that's how you do the lines. But I basically want you to, um, let's just pick three. Pick three indigenous people that you can draw a shape around. Maybe make them each a different color. Um, and um, 
then you're going to go to, you want to make sure you're plotting these other places. And remember, when you plot them, you need to make sure. So if I'm going to go back now and I want to talk about the opioid crisis, it doesn't really matter where I put my dot. You do want to kind of keep them spread out, right? But you want to, um, you're going to basically use the marker, put your dot on there. And this is going to illustrate the opioid crisis. And you want to explain in your own words what you're what you're learning about that. Um, oh, by the way, one of the regions you really can't outline, and it's going to be difficult to um, to plot, and that is going to be the functional region in Florida. So when you get to the functional region in Florida, you are going to have lines on it. Sorry, I've lost where I am. I'm sitting here in the Gulf of Mexico. Um, so you can just like label maybe one TV station. You're looking at page 17 for this and you need to make sure you're describing what they are. But I'm gonna use a marker because for a functional region, you are talking about a node. So if I just put this here and I am talking about, oops, what happened to it? Um, television station equals, this is a functional region. If red it is spelled wrong, please make sure that nothing is outlined in red. Although the tribes may be because Google doesn't recognize them. Um, so functional region, you wanna just describe what it is. I'm not gonna do that for you here. I would see you do that. Um, but when you draw the lines, you'll need to do something like this. Because the whole idea, you have to draw a line, add a line or a shape. Your television stations basically, oops, double click to end it. I'm not gonna, I'm gonna save it, but I'm not going to write anything about it. Um, draw a line from television stations going out. So basically double click, end it, draw another line, television station maybe goes this far, and then save it. So you're illustrating the con, and you can make the lines darker, actually. Um, let's see, how do I go back and make them, when you zoom in, obviously your lines aren't gonna connect. Uh, let's see, I'm not sure why I can't edit my line. There it is. When you edit it, um, you should, hmm, you should be able to make it darker like a thicker line maybe it's here no that's not it because these lines are really thin that's okay though it doesn't really matter and you can make them different colors uh and whatever so anyway a note that's going to be your functional region and i would see lines coming out of it because they're a node and that ex it explains to you when your description you need to explain why why that is and then the, the interesting thing is for the vernacular region you might actually have two borders on the vernacular region, because a vernacular region means that it's not really like black and white. People from the South <laughs> don't always think of themselves as from the South, because when you say you're from the South, there are sort of generalizations you can make about the Southern US, you know, that they're, it's the poorest area of the US. Um, and some people don't think about the fact that they're in the South. So anyway, that's what a vernacular region is. It's like perceptual, it's not accurate. Okay, so make sure you go back and label these places as you need to. Um, I would just see the, the four of them lined when we're going to submit this later, but get this done today. Okay.